How we doing, folks? I'm in the, uh, uh, the ISU-130, the uh, Tier 8 Russian TD Premium model. And uh, we're on Castilia. It's a supremacy battle. And I think that little SV-1C, though that you couldn't get up the hill at that direction that he went. <laughs> but not to worry. Right. Um, what have they got? What have they got? What's that? The MXCC48. That's a AT15. M3U. Tiger 2. Hell's that? T43. And an STRV. An STRV81. What's the other one? The V1 at the bottom. Oh, one of the new French lines. AMX. Now. Looking back on that shot, I aimed for the ammo run. Oh, there's a yellow bugger. Took us here. One nice trade, right enough. I'll trade that. But I took a shot on the the uh, Tiger Two there, right on the ammo rack. Um, he'd already been hit with something else that tracked him, but he automatically repaired his tracks. He went from yellow to green. But uh, I hit him where the ammo rack is on the Tiger too. I am 100% positive of that. So why it didn't damage the ammo rack, I have no idea. But the game does that quite often. The game does that quite often. Is that you still there? No, it's the AD-15. So I'll drop one into the earth to keep, keep them from up and see the yours went all the way through but one reload before he disappears bugger 8015 still trying to cap so I'll drop another one in there there now the ISU is it there's an, an odd thing with it um, the pen uh, I use calibrated rather than rammer um, for the time difference to the reload is not much but the pen on it is 257 and you get 460 damage. Average. It's your average damage. Um, your premium, pardon me, is uh, 226 at 530 damage. So it's 31 less of a, a penetration, but you get a higher damage at 530. Rather than the other way around where it's usually a higher pen and a lesser damage. So it's a kind of odd one, but uh, it's playable. There's the AMX sitting up on the hill there. Uh, and that will be... what is that that's up there? T-43, is it? No, they, no. I T-43. Hmm. Right, but the AMX-46 is sitting over on the, the, there's the sea ramp hill. That you have to go all the way back from the, the spawn to climb up it. What's that across there? What is that over there? Mm. Right. There's no caps because we stopped them cap and see. There's the. Ah, it is. It's the 43 that's sitting up there. And he spotted me. What's that coming across? AC 48 has dropped down. He's coming round the bottom end of the. The gully. So see if I can come around here and drop one into him. He's still coming, he's still coming, he's still coming. Right. So two lower bum bum. One into the top end. That'll do, he's away. Right, so what does that leave us? The 43, the new French one, the M4. Aye, M4. Uh, the STRB and the T43. Now, I think the T-43 was the one that was up on the top of the, the hill here up at the monastery. Mm. So that leaves the STRV was the one that was over at the back end of their spawn, right up in the very corner. Which is a good TD spot. Right, so that means the 43. Hi. That, that thing that you can see on the map now, the red one, is the STRB. There's the... That has to be the French, yeah it is. 
Bugger's got one in me, 2.40, nice bounce, little bit of wiggle and jiggle. He's in a reload because he's fired too, he's gone, nice. So that leaves the STRV is the one that's right in front of us, but the one that you can see that's full health is the T43. Has to be. Did I get him? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh huh. Okay, can I get another swing run and get the back end up? There's the STRV up the back. There's the 43. Right, STRV is up the back. He's a one shot. Your lad will take a pop into him, and if he fires on him, he's on a reload. I can get rid of this corner and go up. Yeah, yes, go up. Got the bugger. Right, what do we get? What do we get there? I think it was about three and a half or something, wasn't it? Oh no, even better, four eight. That'll do. Oh, and a gold M. Oh <laughs> yes, I I like that. Yeah, that works for me. A nice credit lift as well. Mm. Mm hmm. That works. Now, as I was saying earlier on, um, when I was playing that battle, I hit the East, the the Tiger Two. I was aiming for the ammo rack, and the reason for that being, if you look here, this is uh, Arnon Spectre. And if you look at the uh, side of the East, the, the Tiger 2, I keep saying E75, the Tiger 2, if you go all the way along just above the tracks, you'll see that eventually you will hit the ammo rack if you go above the tracks. And if you hit the back of the turret where I was aiming, there, right up until the end of the cut, the, the Copula, if you, if you come down from the, the uh, copula, you miss it. But if you go from the back of the copula all the way back, you'll hit the ammo rack. On both sides. And at the rear. That's where the Tiger 2's ammo racks are. All the way around the back of the turret, behind the line of the copula. Now, if you go the other side, the ammo rack is on the same place, side on, above the tracks. You've got your fuel tank and your uh, engine, but from the back end of the turret, it's all ammo rack. Now, I've said often enough, doing your homework on the modules and where the modules are in the tanks can get you that extra XP that you need. And looking at the modules, you'll see what I mean. The ammo rack on the, e the, the E75 and the Tiger are all at the back of the turret. They've got two smaller ones that run parallel on both sides up the side of the tank. So if you can get a shot in, especially with TD with good pen, and you hit those places, you'll get the ammo racks. But that shot didn't show any ammo rack damage whatsoever. You've got your, your fuel tank, you've got your engine, you've got two or three fuel tanks as you can see, but you've got two engines, one at the back and one at the front. Now the one at the front is the one that drives the drive wheels at the front. So if you hit that, it slows the tank down. The driver and the radio operator there, the gunner and the loader are at the back. Uh, the commander and your loader at the back. But if you look side on at a Tiger, you can still get through that. If he turns his turret trying to you know, side swipe, that you can still get through that if you've got decent pen. And if you go through the front, you can get the two side ammo racks as well. Now, the game itself, I've posted that uh, over to Junction 6. Um, he was asking for a replay, so it might appear there. Um, I haven't seen it yet, so it might appear there. You might see it there before you see it here. But there's the shot. Ammo rack. Bang. No damage whatsoever. So, the game has me sometimes. <laughs> but never mind, not to worry. But, uh, yeah, if you've got any spotlight features that you want done, um, if you've got a mastery or a funny clip or something that you want featured up, send it through to that address there. Or any other YouTubers that you watch that do replays. But, uh, there you are, folks. Stay safe out there now.